Amy Shannon here, also known as the Rock Nerd. And today I'm going to share my unveiling of this bunch of rocks and minerals and fossils that I ordered online. And to be honest, when you can you can find them online, especially if you are unable to find certain rocks in your area. Um, it's not like you can just go out. Um, I can't go outside and start poking around into my uh, landlord's gardens and pull out these rocks that they use for gravel. Um, and some of those, they've always, those have an origin as well and a purpose and things like that. But I actually will buy rocks, some raw, which means they haven't been polished or anything, and some rough, they're in their natural format. Um, and some polished because I think that adds a little shine and it's something that I don't have to do myself. Um, so, but I have learned because I used to um, homeschool my, my um, twins, William and Lewis. I used to homeschool them and we did a lot of STEM products, um, or projects, excuse me. Um, and you should know STEM. If you see that, then that means that it's also something that is educational and it can be used, anybody can use it, just because it could be, oh yeah, you're a kid, uh, or you're learning something. If you're an adult and you wanna learn more about something, just do it, you know, do your research, try to find stuff out. Now, I recently purchased um, this National Geographic, Rock, Mineral, and Fossil Activity Kit. And of course it says, you know, it's for STEM. So, um, you know, it's, and it says ages eight plus. So that's good because I am definitely old, old, over eight years old. And um, so this is one of the things that I bought. And the reason why I buy things because I can't, it's not like I can go to Utah or California or whatever, um, or where these things may have been found. So, um, and I buy National Geographic products. I buy other ones, other products as well. Um, I'm not sponsored by National Geographic. This is just something um, I found um, when I was doing the homeschooling that the National Geographic STEM products were perfect for teaching and learning. I learned a lot of stuff and it gives you different specimens. There's also, um, there's other uh, rock companies. They uh, will give you um, certain polished rocks or, or gems or things like that and you can you know, buy them on Amazon, you can buy them on um, other uh, stores if they have them. Um, and I buy them because, like I said, I would like, I like to hold things in my hand. I like to look at them and examine them. And after I took that, um, I took this geology course um, that I ordered the DVD for, now I do streaming on it. Um, that I, makes me look at rocks in a different way. So it kind of got up my excitement again for these. And they're not just art projects. They're ways to kind of learn because there are rocks that are over, are over 40 mil, mil, billion years. So you never know. So in this box, we've got the ultimate fossil mineral rock mineral and fossil guide and what I like is that it, it talks about it gives you all the information about the books um, about the specimens that are in the box um, so I'll put that aside then it has uh, one of these great rock mineral and fossil identification sheets and this when I get these things these are what I keep 
and I can also compare things later on and see what I have and it tells you exactly what things are what they look like and one thing I did find too is that when examining something very closely like examining a rock very closely you can see its different layers um, some of these are fossils but you know like the, the tires I hear if you look at it really closely you can see um, and it just shows you little lines or whatever and it's a photograph so it's not always easy to see when you put it in your hand one of the things that I use is I bought this on Amazon it's a magnifying glass and what I like about it uh, especially for someone with bad eyesight um, is that it also has three different settings for lighting so um, using this up close this is just a it's a little heavy but um, it it works and I like that it has the lights and sometimes you don't need to use the light depending on the lighting in your room um, but it works wonders for seeing things up close that you might not be able to see um, with your eyes alone um, it gives you a little bag magnifying glass which basically I just chucked because I have a better one and then we have which I think we'll open this one first we have a bag here with different specimens and yes for me it's very exciting look at this it is so amazing these are in its raw, their raw form and sometimes you know you get a little they're a little powdery but um, that's just like the feel you get these fossils there's a clam beautiful glittery fossils and they are pretty interesting because this one it looks like it's a snail shell and here is a uh, raw green one um, some are, this is pumice and it's very lightweight and yes it's like the stuff that you people exfoliate with um, you know hands feet or whatever's dry I will not use this to do any of that um, so this is the interesting part um, excuse me so these are called the desert rose um, and they are just beautiful fossils and some actually this kind of looks and feels like iron and it could be um, it's kind of like it's called coprolite and it actually does feel like you know it's got a little heft to it and it's got a great texture um, you will learn along the way of the videos that I am really big on things that have texture um, it a lot of people that has um, their sensories um, like touching and um, how they like explore things that make them comfortable um, you know it, it for me it's about touch um, you know when I see rocks no matter where they are especially in a museum when you can't touch them you can just look at them and I just really want to reach out and touch them um, this one also comes with this package here and these are geodes now you can use a hammer to, to um, you know break it apart or and if you do that it'll probably break into many pieces I have a, a rotary tool that will cut it in half um, if you want to see what a geode um, looks like on the inside I mean it's kind of like oh 
this is just an ugly rock. Um, and it's not. It's, um, it shows that things are not always what they seem. Just because something isn't or is plain or unattractive on the outside doesn't mean that on the inside there's not something beautiful. And I think um, people are like geodes. Um, they judge people on the outside, but they don't always see the beauty of a person on the inside. Not all people are beautiful on the inside, but let's hope that most of us are. And we have these great polished rocks. And they are just beautiful. And then they have, there's another bag that comes with it. With It's a variety of uh, more rocks. Um, and they're all polished. And you can use them. What I will do, at, um, I will uh, add them to my collection. And I will separate them based on their color and their texture. Um, and then I will, I don't label them, I just kind of, I have, I might display them. I might just um, put them in. I have a little box of adjustable squares like you would do for a tackle box or an activity case. And um, I put my rocks in there. Yeah, well, this one is sealed. So, I gotta look for the tape on this. Now, if they're in here, a container like this it means they are extra fragile. So, I'm going to be very careful and just show you. Now, these are uh, shark teeth, and this. It's just beautiful and amazing. And, you know, they have it polished on one side and its natural form. On the other side, it has different colors. And these are very fragile. So I will keep them in this until I am ready to do my rock sorting. And I put everything where it's supposed to be. I read all about it and I learn a lot and I like to learn I like the um, you know I can't these are rocks that I would never be able to have in a million years like if I couldn't buy them um, and I can look at them differently now and see them for more than just their beauty um, what they've what they do and what they accomplish because it's actually really amazing when you think about that some of these rocks they form underground and they could be part of magma um, it's, you know liquid uh, you know it's lava once it ex explodes out of a volcano but underground it's liquid magma and some things rise up over thousands and thousands of years and a rock could have been formed below and with erosion climate change the shifting of the earth's crust um, vol uh, volcanoes earthquakes um, waterways the earth wrote itself it rotates but the ground the you know on top of it where we are it, it depends on how fragile it could be how dangerous it could be and nature and the way it works and the geology because the mountains are not the same as they were a billion years ago the continents, and I know it's a big, you know, uh, it's always been a controversy that the continents were once 
together and then slowly they separated. Florida was once part of South America and when they connected, Florida latched on to North America and then when they separated, it stayed. And um, because Florida has its geological areas are nothing like the rest of North America. They have the geological matchings of what was in South America. Um, and there are things in South America because it was once attached to Africa of they're finding um, petrified uh, wood and different varieties of, of rock and minerals that are um, indigenous to Africa but found in South America. So the earth, the geological earth as a whole, it's it's basically it's a marble and it's you could be holding s uh, you could pick up a rock and y that rock could have been a million years years old and I'm sure it looks good for its age um, but rocks change depending on you know erosions and water and what water can do what ice can do things like that so that is why I find that these are so they're so interesting and every rock has a story to tell. And by, you know, buying these rocks, looking at different places, reading books on it, um, sharing information, um, that is what I really want to do. I want to be able to share my information, things that I find my passion, even if it's just being a rock nerd. So I will see you again next Saturday. And don't forget, if you like this video or at others on my YouTube channel, please click su subscribe. Be well. Hi, this is Amy Shannon, The Rock Nerd. And if you enjoyed the video that you just saw, you can leave a comment. And also, be sure to click subscribe on the YouTube channel. And if you click that little bell, it looks like a little bell, you can get notifications every time that uh, videos will drop. And also, if you go to my website, rocknerdamy.com, uh, you can subscribe there and you will get uh, some of my blog posts. And anytime there's an update, I'll be posting uh, my, my videos also on my website, also other information and images and more information about geology, rocks, minerals, gel gems, you name it, I'm going to talk about it or provide you with information about it. Now, I, I don't think I'm the only one in the world who likes rocks. So remember, geology rocks. <sighs> so terrible. Anyway, it does. Hashtag geology rocks. Hashtag rock nerd. See you next week.